Hello folks, welcome to another video. Today, I've taken the side trim off the door and uh, got it placed here. There we go. And today I've given it a bit of a clean uh, and going to treat this. Give it a bit of a spray job. So, furthermore, let's get cracking. <laughs> that cut done with. <sighs> Here we go. Right, that's that one sprayed up. So let that dry, like saying, let that one dry. Give it 10 minutes. And uh, tell you what, I'll show you the sides. Now this car has been painted. Unfortunately, uh, whoever did the paint job, not that great because they didn't match it that well. Uh, I'll show you. I'll spin the camera around and uh, I'll show you the side trim that I've took off and you've cleaned up the paintwork underneath. Uh, but the trim came off really good, uh, didn't fight with me. One of the clips was slightly rusty, but it's just the outer coating that's kind of peeled off. Uh, but yeah, not too bad. So let me just show you that. Right, so this is the front wheel arch. You can see the, this is the original paintwork and then this is whatever they've, don't know what the color this is but it's wrong wrong so this is the original and you can see that or they, they just didn't bother taking off the arches which is uh, kind of show of a, a cheap paint job um, it has got a couple of blemishes in it but from a distance it's not too bad but not great so this is where I took the trim off and you can see here the paint the original paint is absolutely gorgeous condition really lovely color and then you get to there and oh dear kind of makes me wonder why they uh, repainted it but hey ho so this has all come off all the original studs are still nicely fitted that's not uh, an issue um, so now I could have left the trim on taken the the red where is it I could have just taken the, the bit of red trim off and then masked it up and painted it, but I wanted to, to see the, the state of the clips behind, see if they need replacing. Uh, thankfully, they're in really good condition. So these are the plastic clips that kind of hold on the trim and also that trim. And these little metal clips, you can see there, they kind of slot on and the trim fits underneath it. Now they're not in too bad a nick, that one's the worst. So this was, uh, this one was there, it was fitted on there. So it uh, contact with a lot of moisture, um, but it's not rotten. It's only just the outer plastic layer. So I'll give it a clean up with the wire wheel, a bit of zinc primer and uh, that'll be a good one uh, there's no point in replacing them because they're actually in really good nick and it's extra cost and i'm trying to do this efficiently because uh, at the end of the day uh, this vehicle will be up for sale uh, at some point once i'm happy with it um i say once i'm happy with it i would prefer if i had the money i would splash out for a respray to take it back to its original cherry red instead of this kind of faded whatever paint it is um, but I'll do the best I can to try and bring the uh, the paint up uh, and, and with all the trim and everything painted up it will help it pop a bit better uh, so yeah so that bit of trim should be hopefully dry-ish now so we'll give it another coat
that's touched dry now. It's it's gone off. It's remarkably quick. So give the paint can a bit of a check. And uh, we'll get another coat. Here it goes. Right, that's the second coat on, and that's to be fair, that's all it's going to need is just two coats. Uh, so let that dry and uh, see what else I can pull apart off it and you know, make better. Hmm. Righto. Right, the side trim's all painted up and it's dry now, so now the next job is the grill. So this fits the lower grill on the front bumper. Now I managed to take it apart. Now the little clips here are all intact, but the little metal press clips, they broke off, they're rotten, but luckily they're a standard size and I can get some new ones. So I've got a rag with some paint thinners on it, standard thinners, just going to give this a wipe down uh, and try and wipe this down as best I can, let it dry off uh, and then give it a paint. Ugh. That's always handy to remember if you're using thinners and you haven't got rhino skin like I have, uh, always wear gloves because this stuff is uh, quite irritable on your skin and I know I should wear gloves you know but it's a case of do what I say and not what I do so this is just getting rid of all, any of the old muck and debris off the plastic surface. We'll probably need a, another going over. Now I could just paint the this piece and not bother, but a bit of a half arse job that is, so might as well. I know most people would probably just paint the front end and leave the back, but I'm not like most people. There we go, nice and cleanish. Back probably needs a bit of more of a clean, but I'll let that dry. Now I did have start and have a go at this one, so I might just use a clean rag just to, you know, cleanish rag just to try and get rid of any excess dirt. This one's quite fiddly. Lots of bits to nooks and nooks and crannies to clean. And I said crannies, not fannies. So I just want to get rid of all the any dirt or debris, so it will. Anything that kind of inhibit the new paint to stick, because the last thing you want to do is just give it a quick tart up and then spray it, and then the paint flake off, because that just makes your job a little bit harder. It does help if you do have rather slender fingers be able to get in between the old the grills Ooh. someone's on it with a scooby bomb
tell you what folks that is a car that uh, that I'd like to have one day is a Subaru Impreza classic that would be a quite nice motor I remember back in the day where I used to have uh, my first MG when I was oh, 18. Oh God, that was nearly 20 years ago now. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. But yeah, and uh, I used to be on the MG ZR UK forum. And uh, a lot of folks back then, uh, the cars to kind of go for that had ZRs that were my age, kind of, oh, when I get older, I'm going to have myself a Subaru Impreza. I can still hear that, Scooby, and you must be about a good two, three miles away now. <laughs> oh. Bloody hell, I can hear him popping even from here. Good effort. So, yes, yeah, so that's, that's nice and clean. Uh. So, put that to one side. So we got this bit of trim here. Get those caps there. So, now that that's dried, dried off, we'll give it the old uh, once over with the old uh, flexible flexible vinyl paint it says ideal for recolouring or colour change on PVC, UBC or vinyl. So in theory you can do your windows with this. Do your window frames. So that's UPDC. Mind you, black window frames. Mm. Not sure about that. Probably look good on Adam's family or a nice uh, gothic style house, but uh, a two bedroom bungalow can... that wouldn't quite work. Right, less chatting, more spraying. Right, let that dry. That's come out all right, that has. I've noticed the nozzle is a bit. <laughs> A bit spitty, uh, but it'll do. I'm sure it'll dry. The uh, the arch has come out lovely. Let me go and grab it for you. Oh yes. So there we go. There's the arch. Ta da! Yeah, not too bad. The fish was this big. Uh, no, but that's come out absolutely pucker, as they would say. So and that's pretty much dry. Do the old face test. Yeah, that's dry. So... Whilst that's drying, because uh, that's up next. So as you can see, so this is the before. You can see it's rather gray and a bit discolored through through age. I'm sure if, uh, if I was in the sun all the time, I would become very discolored or very, you know. I'd end up looking like uh, David Dickinson. Anyway, so that will be dry very soon. You know what? That's that's almost dry. So I'll have a quick slurp of my coffee, my barista barista coffee, and uh, wait for that to dry. Now it did say. It was going to rain at two o'clock here. So far, quite lucky. It's not rained yet. So whilst uh, it's dry now, 
I haven't been here for a couple of days because we had snow in England and anyone that's watching this video abroad or doesn't get snow, when we get snow in England, it just causes chaos. Well, you know, and when I say chaos, people drive in like idiots, you know, doing 30 and a 30 uh, and expecting their either front wheel drive or rear wheel drive or four wheel drive car, especially four wheel drive owners, uh, to be able to go through snow at the same speed uh, on summer tyres. No, it don't work like that. You need winter tyres. But luckily, I've got winter tyres on my daily driver, a Volvo V70. Not the old shape. Well, I suppose it's an old shape. It's an 04 plate, so fairly old. But anyway, I'm waffling. That's dry. So I hit it with another coat. And uh, go from there. Oh, that didn't take too long. Never does. Now, off camera, I have been polishing up the passenger door. Uh, I've cleaned it because it had a lot of detritus and dirt and everything. But that's had a bit of a clean. A uh, quick clean with the rag, you know, that'll do. And uh, I've given it the old wax on with some red tea cut and just letting it uh, dry. I've also done a bit on the rear quarter as well. Now I do need to take the rear wheel arch off and all that, but uh, I probably won't do that today. Um, it'd be great to do it today, but nah, you know, probably not. Right. What to do next? Ah, over here. Up next, front grille. Paint this, I've put the back of this trim. So there we go. So the back piece that I was just spraying, I've just put it, popped it, popped it on the roof of the Peugeot um, on the tarpaulin that's covering it because it's not got a roof yet. We'll get round to that at some point and film it. Ah, that should be fun. But I've popped it on there, just let that dry whilst I can just uh, quickly blitz this one out. see it at the moment because I've got the camera over there and I can't really be bothered to pick it up because it's on a tripod and yeah trying to get it sitting in the exact same place is a bit of fiddle fiddery so let that dry and we'll come back to come back to it and give it another coat and then once that's dry flip it over give the back a spray and the same with the blanking plate that goes behind it Tidy bar. Right, it's been a hot minute and that's all dried off, which is all good. Coverage is all right. So there we go. So that's come out. That's come out really good, so I'm impressed with that. So, I think next stage is to give it another coat and call it a day on that one. Uh, right, that's had 
two coats, so I'm gonna leave it that, uh, let that dry, and then I'll move it over on to the roof of the Persia, and then I'll get the other bit of trim, put that here, give that a quick, <laughs> and uh, yeah. And then all I've got to do then is find some clips, some tiny little push clips to put on and put it together. But I'll probably end up taking those bits home with me so I can do that at home. Uh, and then uh, I can take the front bumper off again in order to fit this and probably get some new little screws and bits and pieces. And then in theory, the front bumper is pretty much almost done. It's just fog lights which I'm still trying to sort out and uh, yeah is what it is but uh, I think I'm just going to end up splashing out for a brand new set of lights it's going to be about 60 70 pound it is what it is but you know uh, it deserves it really you, you, you might as well not bother you know, little things like that. You could just chuck in some really cheap eBay fog lights, um, but they're not as good uh, and they won't last that long. And plus people will be like, oh, they're not the correct lights. No, 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 they should be the simmers, not those Chinese eBay ones, oh dear. But anyway, that's another story for another time. So uh, I'm gonna leave the video there. So if you happen to like this kind of stuff, like I've said in this previous videos, this is, I believe, video number nine. God, I've done nine videos on this. So it's video number nine. If you like this kind of thing, like and subscribe. Uh, give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Entirely up to you. Leave a comment uh, to kind of boost me or, or say, oh, God, you're not doing very well at this. Oh, that's not the correct way. And I'll read it and most likely just laugh at it and go, ha, ha, ha and say some expletives which i'm not going to say but uh yeah hope you enjoyed the video and um see you on the next one see you later daddy bar <laughs>